I could help Eric down to this area uh, toward, toward, uh, toward Hickory, Hudson, uh, down that way, uh, between here and Hickory, Grand Falls, back this way, that would be great. Y'all can Brother Eric. And then, uh, and then uh, Kelly's, boy, some of them have to get Barbie girls don't go, have to do hers or somebody. Somebody's going to help. And uh, uh, don't forget that. And then the others will be just work, 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 get it done. So to, uh, we don't, don't go on, but like a couple of Saturdays a year like that, and we're excited about being able to go. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 31. Now this is the time when the Lord getting there, the, the, built the tabernacle, and it's a picture of the temple and, and stuff like that. And anyway, it's a time when they were building and putting things together, and then when they got it done, look what happened. Look here at verse number 10. Deuteronomy 31 10. Now, stay down now. Everybody keep saying, look at Deuteronomy 31 10. And Moses commanded them, saying, at the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release in the Feast of Tabernacle, when all Israel, this is youth rabbit, is come to appear before the Lord thy God in the fair ground which he shall choose. See that? Thou shalt read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together. The Burke County Fairground. Men, women, children, strangers that is within thy gate. That they may hear and that they may learn and that fear the Lord your God and observe to do all the work of the Lord. Ain't that, ain't that what we're doing? Amen. And that their children which have not known anything may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land, whether you go over to Jordan Possession. Your kids ain't supposed to quit serving God when you die. Right. They're supposed to serve God for all the rest of their life. Right. I'd hate to think my girl just gave up on the Lord if I died. Right. That'd be awful. How disappointing. Right. Um, and, and, and he said, and the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, the days approach that thou must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the congregation that I may give him a charge. And then Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. Here's the youth read. Verse 15. And the Lord appeared. Oh, mercy, that's what we need right there. And the Lord appeared. All is vain unless the Lord appears. All is vain unless the Holy Ghost comes and does the work. And he did here. In the pillar of the cloud, the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. I will preach just very quick tonight on this subject. Youth Friday, coming soon. Here's why I got the idea of this sermon. I'll be driving around tonight, sometime in town. Uh, sometimes, and uh, you'll, you'll, see a, you'll see a fence, or you'll see a, a sign out here, and it looks like some work's going on. And it'll say, coming soon. A business or something. And I especially noticed that new Kentucky Fried Chicken that they're putting over there on Carbon City Road. Because every time I come down through there, when that, that thing first started, I thought, what in the world are they doing right here in the middle of, of uh, Ollie's parking lot, taking around, making a big mess like this. And then I saw a sign, coming soon, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. You see it, you see it, there's one in, uh, at the, in the yard of Western Piedmont over there. Coming through that building, they're building over there, and it's some kind of something they're starting this coming fall. And so they, they we're, we're, I look at that, and I think, coming soon. And you know, it's not long till you ride by there one day, and that sign is still out there, and it says, uh, and you see a bunch of people out there doing something. And, and then, a week or two later, you go by there and there's some equipment moved in there. And, and the next thing you know, you see a big old pile of dirt. And then one day, you drive in, and uh, you've seen this, and there's a big old stack of block and uh, a concrete block. This on, on, and, and there's pallets of stuff and those steel, those steel two before, metal two before, and, and stuff laying out there. You think, man, they're, they're doing it here. This is getting done. It really is. 
And then I, I went by there one day, and I seen this uh, thing. It looked like a, it looked like a, uh, I don't know, some of them, where, you, where you, it's like a machine, and it lifts the guys up there to uh, start putting on steel on top of the roof. And uh, they got them, they got them walls built. And you go by there one day and say, well, I'll be, there's a guy up yonder. That thing's actually starting to have a roof. And then the next thing you know, you go by there one day, and there's a concrete truck out there. And that big old thing's are turning like that. And then me and the shoveling that stuff like that. And, and then one day you go by there, and, and, and it's, blocked, it's boxed in. You can actually see where the building is. That sign's still there, coming soon. And people saying, when is the new Kentucky Fried Chicken going to be open? Lord, I don't know. Ain't no telling. I ain't no telling. And I'll tell you what. And it one day you go by there, and there's the colonel. Uh, there's his face. And they got him on the sign there. It looked like Captain Kangaroo. But, and he, he, uh, and he got, and you see that red and white. You see that, their, their colors, you know, their sign, that bright red and white. He said, well, I'll be if that ain't starting to look like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. It wasn't nothing but an old, old pumpkin lot. Y'all stand with me tonight? It, it, it wasn't nothing there. But them people got to work. And they put their money and time into that. And I'm doggone, that's the day for our chicken popping up. It didn't pop up by itself. It didn't just like God loved that parking lot more than he loved that other parking lot. It wasn't like in his sovereign grace, God chose to drop a Kentucky Fried Chicken in that parking lot. No, no, no. There's people, uh, somebody paid for that land. Somebody bought the permits. Somebody had plans drawn up. Somebody got an architect. Somebody hired plumbers. Somebody, Lord, there's electricians. They, I mean, it ain't cheap, man. And then the next thing you know, and I have been there about there lately, but it's starting to look good. I think they should give me a lifetime a membership for some chicken or something for plugging them like this. Uh, but, uh, uh, but you know what? But that's the thing begin to come up. And then you'll see it one day. You'll see the parking lot. That's usually the nice thing they do. They do uh, parking lots, you know, and everything. And, and uh, strap that thing off and have entrance up signs and everything. And lo and behold, right now, all of a sudden there'll be a big sign saying, Opening, opening, grand opening, April 30th or May 15th or something like that. They'll put it in the newspaper. They'll put it on the radio. It's going to open. And sure enough, that day finally comes when the doors are open, the employees are in there, the people start coming in, and they eat. And they eat, and they get their, their body fed. And brother, you look and it says it was a success. It was a success. Now I'm going to tell you where we're at tonight. We at Shining Light Baptist Church, but all we got right now is a sign up. Uh, uh, we say, coming soon, Giant Spring Youth Rally. Coming soon. Giant Spring Youth Rally. Coming soon. Giant Spring Youth Rally. People ride back and forth. They're there saying, I see them people's cars over there. There's a lot of cars in that bar. You know, they, they, there's a lot of people in here for a Sunday night, y'all. I mean, you go to most churches. Uh, I mean, they, they ain't a handful. A lot of them don't even have Sunday night no more. And uh, they say, what are they doing? What are they doing over there? What are they doing over there? And they'll start seeing these signs up. Coming soon. Giant Spring Youth Rally. Burke County Fairgrounds. April 21st through the 20th, 23rd. Don't pay no attention to that. It will be fixed by next Sunday. Uh, uh, listen, uh, 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 don't miss it. Don't miss it. Grand opening, April 21st at the Burke County Fairground in Morgan. They begin to do that. Now, the first thing you got to do, uh, you, you go by there and you think, they'll never make a Kentucky Fried Chicken out of that. They will pile of junk there and everything. Uh, you know what they'll do? They some things got to get tore up. They some things got to get tore up. Before you can build a, a building like that, before you, hey, you got to tire some stuff, huh? Yes, I mean, they got to take that equipment in there. I like that big old thing sitting on the hill there, Christmas thing. But they'll put that big bucket down there. Ha! Like that, there's a tree there. I was, I come over here and watched him work one day, and that thing is strong, Lord help us. And that's an old machine. And that thing, he put, he, he put it up, a tree that big around. I'm not kidding, that big around. Lord, you'd think a atomic bomb wouldn't move that thing. And he took that thing and just pushed that thing and went whoop, right open. Uh, I ain't done it. And get, now we could never do that by ourselves. Uh, but he took that, that thing and did it. That big trico up there. And you know what? I thought, I thought of something awful. Should I say it? I'm there not. <laughs> when you're preparing for the when you're preparing for the youth rally. Amen. Uh, they got the trico, we got the crack though. Uh, and we're all trying to get them right with God. 
and get them to the church and get them saved by the grace of God. It's all planned. I found out poetry like that. Uh, listen this evening, brother. You know what? Uh, they got that thing and they tear some stuff up. I'm turning, we're talking about tearing a stump out of the ground. We're talking about tearing stumps out of the ground. I don't know if you've ever tried to, they used to do it the old fashioned way. I mean, Lord have mercy with a pig and a matic and an act, bust them up and bust them up and bust them up. Sometimes people used to, people used to drop uh, stuff in there and kill them. Stump and drive it up top. He can tell you, anybody's ever done, these boys done a little work out there. But if you have something stout to pull a stump out of the ground. Now, I'll tell you what we need to do tonight. Everybody listen to me. Everybody can shout out, man, listen to me. We're, we need to tear some things up. Amen. The Bible says break up your fallow ground and not so not among thorns. We do. We got some old stuff rooted in our hearts and in our lives. Old habits, old junk that ought not to be there. And before we can have the, the Holy Ghost appear at the youth rally, we're going to have to tear it up. Some stuff's got to be tore up. How you got to reach down and say, this old bitterness, this jealousy, like when the boy did a minute ago, this stuff in me that ain't right, God, get up! Tear it up! You gotta tear some stuff up before you can build something. Right. Before you can build anything, you gotta tear some stuff up. If you build a house up here in the country, you gotta tear up some trees and stumps and level out of place and everything else. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord have mercy. You, you gotta do it in your evil heart of unbelief. Uh, you know what we need to do? We need to say, Lord, tear up the junk in our hearts. How about the junk of not having a burden? Amen. 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 I ain't saying you're a pervert. I'm just saying you're backslid. I'm not having a burden. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. Tie up some things. I'm right. You know what the Lord do? He takes that big hand and he jerk that bitterness out of your heart. Not the movies. You know, some people that I used to go visiting uh, a long time before this day and time. I used to go visiting. We used to go out and uh, before before cell phones come out and we had not been in a house. Honest to goodness, I ain't trying to talk bad about nobody, but if you have just junk and trash everywhere, you just about fall when you're going up the steps into the back door yeah. where it has been that way and, 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 and stunk and trash everywhere and, and the car almost holes in the floor. And, and honest to goodness, I've seen a stack like this, a stack of movies, two or three hundred movies that then pay $15 piece for. And a great big color TV. And, uh, and I thought, you know what? You know what? Uh, people, uh, people, Lord, have mercy. Yeah? Yeah. If you pay $10 a piece for 200 movies, yeah. that's $2,000. Yeah. It's good to put some carpet down in your house. You know? <laughs> or or put, some, put a real glass in the window instead of cardboard. And I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but that's what some of y'all need to do. Uh, you need to let the Lord take some of that junk out of you. Amen. Hey! Turn that phone off. Amen. Amen. I've been preaching a long time ago. We preach about TV and stuff. But it can hold a lot to TikTok. Yeah. They're trying to go some congressman thank God trying to get it out of I hope pray they do. Amen. I heard a man the other day, not, not, don't go to our church. He said, Man, I love TikTok. I watch it all the time. Well, I'm not saying everything on there's bad. I'm not. But I'm telling you there's enough trash on there to make and all it takes is one little snap. And sticks it to a head. Amen, Oh, basically, this is what it is. What most people say is a bunch of girls twisting herself around there and trying to be wicked in front of men. That's why all of them like to watch it all the time. Mm, hell yeah. So tear it up! Tear it up. Come on, the Lord. It's tempting, brother. It's tantalizing. Amen? But it's dangerous. It's deadly for your spirit. Not only that, you got to move a little dirt. That said that, you got to move a little dirt. You might have to knock an old building down. An old structure. From your past. Get it out. Get it out. Don't let things in your past cheat you out of getting the blessing of just you. Amen. Don't let hard feelings. And listen, are, are, you, are you that gullible? I mean, listen. Listen, people. You know what? I mean, I, if anybody in here has got a right to be bitter, everybody, yeah, I do. I guarantee you ain't nobody in here got no more right to not like some people than, than I do. And I guarantee you. But you know what? I refuse to live my life like that. I refuse to live my life with hurt feelings and hard feelings. I mean, because God don't bless me when I got hard feelings like that. I want to, if I find myself having hard feelings towards somebody,
somebody. Tell you what I do. I pray for them. I do. I pray, Lord, bless them. And I don't mean it. I say, Lord, bless them. And I'm going to pray it till I do mean it. Amen. Amen. It's dirt out. It's dirt out. So now you might have to change jobs. You might have to change friends. You might have to kick that old boyfriend to the curb, girls. Amen. You say, but I love it. I know it'll hurt. Well, it'll hurt a lot worse if you have to live with that weirdo. And you can't find him. Don't know where he's at half the time. And your heart's broken. You got a couple of kids that can't pay your bills. It hurts a lot worse then. Go ahead and do the right thing. Serve God. Honor Him. He'll give you a decent guy. Amen. 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 I know some of these used to sing that Andy Grant song, Terry Kim, and his kid wrote songs. I, I used to write songs. But this, they wrote, I don't know who did this one. Remember that? El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Uh, remember that song? Uh, the kids at camp, they got to go and the girls got up there and say, How should I, how should I ever find a decent guy? Age to age, they're all the same. They don't even know my name. You know, but when I finally get a bite, it turns out he's not too bright. Age to age, I don't know how I remember that, 25 years ago. And they say, uh, and then he's real bright till he finds out I'm a Ruckmanite. And then I never get a bite, you know. <laughs> they used to sing at camp all the time. Uh, but I'm telling you what, brother, it's all right. Hear me well. You're better off with no one than the wrong one. Right. It goes for your adults, too. You're better off with no one than the wrong one. Right. You don't know what having bad is. Not what God people say it. Amen. Amen. Somebody don't get you. <laughs> all right. Now, I'll tell you something else we got to do before that thing will happen. There's a lot of money got to be spent. Oh, yeah. I ain't no telling how much they got that can take right to you. I hate to know. And I in this day and time, getting getting blueprints and, and white cotton architects and all that just for Lord, we built that building up for a uh, new man. Most people don't even know this. So I don't even know if anybody here remember this problem. Maybe Gary, I don't know, but oh, we built that building. I was all excited. I had the vision. I drew it up in Michigan. I went and I'm sitting in the preachers of study and drew that building out. This is the, the, uh, the, the uh, dimensions is 80 by 112. And, uh, and uh, I went sideways like that when I got the idea from Jack Kyle's church. And I remember sitting there and I said, ah, but I want to see the building go up. I want to see the building go up. And there's there, nothing there but a swamp in there. That whole little valley was called Soggy Swamp. And they come down there and they said, Daddy, we're going to have to dig out 15 foot of ditch in between right side the doctor's office. I said, you've got to be kidding me. I was in the building. Let's lay some block. Nope. Before you can lay one block, they dug out, honest to goodness, about a 12 or 15 foot ditch. 112 foot long. It cost us, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of dollars. It probably fits out now, easy. And put concrete down in there. They said, if you're going to put that big old building here, it's going to have something under it. I want to see them. I want to see some hammers and, and, and sheet rock and lights on. Pick up. You got to dig down first, preacher. Got to dig. Now, y'all, I don't know if you remember carrying this with them now. They got around them bulldozers and everything shook the ground. And not no Dr. God was right next door and knocked the pie, knocked the electric out something and all his computers. He, oh, I thought he was going to kill me. Uh, he, uh, he called me the praying man on the hill. That's what he called me. The doctor, he's a German doctor who lived in Patsy. My cousin worked for it. And she said, boy, Dr. Goss is mad. Then I said, I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, and and, uh, and uh, he, it should knock his uh, records out of his computers and stuff. And it took forever to get that done. So finally got done. Finally, I said, can we let block, please? <laughs> we have them things 12 inch block, architectural block, not the smooth kind. They're about 50 pounds each, 40. And then one after another, after another, after another. Same thing we come in here. This wasn't nothing but an old empty warehouse. We still ain't here to work. Listen, hey people, you, you can't have a great meeting and a great youth rally and, and, and somebody not put forth some money and work. Amen. Or there's people tied in a bark on a tree. They sing through their nose, keep wearing a false teeth out. Maybe the preacher did something about money. I don't like it. That's called you're so doggone tight. You're still in God's faith. And I'm going to do you talk. You, the Lord can't bless so tight a bunch of people like that. The Lord loves say what? Cheerful giver. The Lord loves say cheerful giver. They had to put out some money on that thing. They had to put out some money. They had a lot of work in that. Hurry, I, I'm gonna, I've got to show you something. I'm done. The carpenters. Except the Lord 
build a house, they labor in vain to build it. Sometimes you think, man, we'll never get this done. But the day keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming. And then one day, you see a sign. It says grand Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll put, I've already got a youth rack commercial made. It's on our radio station right now. We've got several radio stations. We'll put, I'll write out. I wrote the youth rack commercial. I sent it to John over to the radio station. He made it. His voice sounds a little more professional than mine does. And I said, don't you make this commercial for me? And he he done that. I write out to uh, John Spring Youth Rack, Burke County Program. We'll send it to radio stations. Tell them to be. Tell them to be. Well, send text to all my preacher friends with those the little flyers that have the picture of them. And we're going to give y'all one of these tonight. Lord willing, I'm going to get that for everybody leaves tonight. A flyer. Take it. Put it on your car window. Put it on your, put it on, on your stunts at school. Put it on your desk. Put it on pay at work. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. The man that don't advertise is like the man that winks in the dark. He knows what he's doing. Nobody else does. That's right. Amen. Anything worth having is worth advertising. Right. right. The finished product is the sin. When I walk in there that first night, and I only put the forerunner down in there, I'm trying to go get another one. Maybe my eighth one. Eighth one, I think. Maybe nine. Don't have to worry about me not being stuck on what I believe in. <laughs> Ever since 1990, I wear one out, buy another, wear one out, buy another, or sell it, and probably still get the money out of it, buy another. And I pull that thing down in there, and I get down on my knees. Oh, yeah, come on. And I get down and start praying. And I look up, and I see a bus coming up that road over there. Amen. Amen. It says something, something about this church. Hallelujah. Just in South Carolina. Yeah. And my heart says, Glory to God. Yeah. I'm like the Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> he sees his first customer come in. Yeah. Glory to God. The finished product. Look, you go there right now, that place all messed up, dirt graffiti all over it. Somebody busted the windows out. I don't know if they did that because of us. They are cussing God and everything. We're the only church group that had music. So I don't know if it's directed toward us or they can't find our church or God protected us or whatever. But listen, brother, it don't look too hot right now. Oh, on that day, yeah. I looked and I said, well, there's brother so-and-so. And it's what thrills my heart. Well, look, see those ten backs and off that bus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's hot dogs. And there's our people working. And there's the sign. I'm telling you, there ain't no free old world like that. And then you come in and you see, listen, people. Oh, people! People say, oh, daddy, it's a lot of money and work for nothing. You know them kids, they get all excited. It don't last. They, they don't last too long. Well, I can say that about you. Right. I'm preaching down in Florida a few years ago. Big old boy about that tall up leading the singing. I mean, he was going like that, fired up and everything. And you know what? I didn't know it. They told me, they said, I said, man, where did he come from? He's fired up, man. They said, he got saved to Georgia Youth Rally last year. Amen. He's still down there. I'm mean, preaching right now. Listen, brother, he's a lifelong customer. Amen. I mean, God got a hold of him. That's the finished product. Amen. The finished product is when the invitation comes and lives are changed and hearts are moved and people's family get back together and these kids' mama gets saved, daddy gets saved. Listen, people, God in heaven can still save souls like he always I talked to him the other day. I said, Mr. Ronnie. He said, hey, Pastor, man, you need to have a call. I said, honey, you got signed up? He said, hey. I said, hey. He said, well, I don't give him to the last few weeks. He has brought 80 Amen. to Buffalo. Amen. And one year he brought a mob and 47 of them got saved. Amen. And you know what a lot of Christians that didn't give a dime hit a lick said, oh my gosh. They just went to the friends. I know, it's, it's not real. It's just enough to get up there singing and get everybody all torn up. Well, that's what people don't do nothing say. So. You know what Ronnie told me the other day? 
He said, Brother Dave, some of them are still talking about that year. Amen. God knows. Not all of them, obviously, of course not. They said Lackey. Brother Lackey had a big meeting up there years ago. Had a bunch of people got saved. And my preacher come to Lackey and he said, Brother Carl, do you believe all they got saved? He said, they probably did. Do you believe them two in your church last year got saved? Yeah. Probably not. I mean, look, brother, 50 make a profession and five really do get saved. That's a whole lot better than not doing nothing. If one gets saved, stay out of hell forever. Y'all see T. Townsend? You know about his ministry? Y'all that big Burlington revival? And God used him all in this country? I went, I went to see him down at the, uh, and, and you know what he, what he told me? He said, Brother Castle, I grew up listening to you preach. Amen. Praise the Lord, man. I thought, good. Mm, that's a blessing. Yeah. And they went up to see him the other night. And he said, they drugged him to our youth rallies as a kid growing up. Amen. Don't tell me it don't work. Amen. Don't tell me it don't work, buddy. Amen. So I don't see him too much. Amen. I've seen it too many times. Amen. Now, I want to show you five minutes of open day. Grand open. Finished product. Every year, I start thinking, it's going to kill me this year. And that, that, that fashion and, and doing the skins and all that kind of stuff, I guess, good night in the morning. Uh, I mean, carrying me say, uh oh, everybody. Be easy you now. It's in youth brother time. That is it. His mind's out jumping somewhere. It's out there all the time. But way worse this time of year. And uh, my ADHD kicks in, or whatever it is. Way worse. Because I'm never listening to what somebody's saying. I'm out there. I'm out there. And uh, here's the finished product. Let's see if we can get it done. Get on on that blue mic deal. Hey, come on. If I'm if I'm not, I'll turn it off first, and we'll we'll look and see here tonight. See some real special. This just take one minute or two of the fixed product. Supposed to your little thing go boop. <laughs> Wrong <note. laughs> right, well, here. And we'll take here just a second and let you let you see this. Sometimes, sometimes I go back and I watch last year's youth rally or something like that, and I advise everybody to do that because you really just get how good it really is. And so tonight, uh, go ahead and start doing those, please, and we'll see if we can get you about five minutes here, and, and we'll pray together. I've been zeroing in on young people being saved these first Monday, uh, January and February. But here it is, March. So this is what I've had on my heart. This random little, little sample of what the finished product is. That's you, man.
We have Sam Cullen and Mount Lightning. And we have Kit Kat. Yeah, amen. Kit Kats for the night. Oh my goodness, this should have never been over. Sorry, uh, So uh, we're going to get these. And look, everybody that's going on the Rockingham trip, we're going to meet right here in this section of pews. Right now, after service is over. Everybody else, be careful. Unless, uh, I need mean, some of our men. Uh, thank you. All right, big man, get up here and get your kick cat. All right. Uh, but Terry, take that door right there, if you will. And uh, one of you guys, Rob, do that for me back here. Stand at the door. Everybody gets one of these as you go out tonight. And take one and uh, put it in the car. And this door over here, this young man right here, I have him. Uh, Deacon right here. Right up here. All right, he got it. All right. Go ahead and get the rest of the lights with. She's going to play. Let's have a good time of fellowship. Everybody going on the trip will meet here in less than five minutes, okay?